Hello ladies! Today I would love to talk about the topic of um, us taking inspired action in order to change and in order to um, change the reality that we are having. So um, what do I mean by that? And um, so you guys know and I have been talking a lot about this that I have taken big le leaps and transformed a lot in the last one half years. And I've been really thinking about this because I mean I did give myself credit but I've been really thinking about this what kind of steps um, does it require to um, to take in order to change that much, to change from a painful relationship where the guy abandoned me, uh, doesn't want to commit, always reject me, and um, always reject me, to um, being a dating, really loving man who never abandoned me, always there for me, being so consistent and loving. So first of all, it's really really helpful to have a mentor that um, keeps you accountable and showing you the next steps but um, there's also another thing I have realized that I had a big pain so the ba pain is also a big gain so um, it was easy for me let's say to take inspired action that had been things that I've never done before, um, going out with men who are not my type, who are so nice that it would be even weird for me, who um, make me feel like, who treat me good, but it wasn't my reality, so even when we consciously say we want love and so on, um, our nervous system and also our, um, and also our comfort zone is, <clears throat> in my case, for example, to be with men who don't treat me right. And therefore, I have been taking these big steps and, and they have been uncomfortable. But compared to my pain, my the reality I was in, those uncomfortable steps had been feeling comfortable. So, um, Yes, so that's one way you can change when you really, really are in so big pain, no reality, that you can't sleep, can't eat, all of those things. Then I'm sure making some changes will be easy. But um, there's also another way um, to change. And... Um, but I've also seen many women who are in big pain, but they don't feel it. They abandon the pain. They say, well, it's okay, but really it's not. And they suppress the pain so that they can't, cannot change. And I know it's really painful to feel and look into the pain, but it's so important so that you actually feel inspired to change. And if you cannot look into the pain by yourself, I wasn't able to. I needed a coach to help me then um, you can always get some help to look into this pain and uh, really transform. So I always feel so sad hearing from my clients or other people that, well, I'm okay, I'm happy with what I have. But the goal from inner work is not to be happy and okay. The goal is to really look into what's really, how you feel really, and no longer abandon your desire to have a fully committed relationship, to um, be treated well. So yeah, this is the first uh, way you can change. Um, you can change um, from the pain to pleasure. But what if um, you've done lots of inner work on yourself and um, you don't abandon your negative feelings, but you're pretty okay and pretty happy so you're not um, in that big pain but you still want to have something better in your life 
Then the actions are kind of similar to take, so you still need to take inspired action that feel uncomfortable, feel new, and um, really feel hard to take. But this time, this time you really need your willpower to push, push through it, to um, stay with it, to hold the container and the capacity to be able to receive the love because it does feel uncomfortable to receive more intimacy and love. And uh, the best is if you also have a mentor who can um, guide you through this. So there's no confusion. It takes years to figure this stuff by yourself. It's taken me years. And then I just hired a mentor and in a few months or just one session, um, I can move forward. So it's really, really worth your time and money to have a mentor and a coach. But yeah, if you still fine with your life and you really don't suppress your pain then there's still a way to change good for great and that would need your willpower inspired action dedication and being willing to always take new new steps new um things to do and also tr go for example in dating go out with men that you think they're not your type and um, so this live stream would come to an end but I'm going to share with you just one little example from my life that I remember um, going out with the new type of man that are my standard now felt really really uncomfortable and it felt um, it felt so unknown and felt even scary but also boring and I remember back then telling myself okay I just do it for inner work purposes like we are never going to see each other another date but then I kind of met him a few times and a few times because really I knew the guy didn't do anything wrong I was just committed and I was just feeling attracted to men who treat me bad so therefore I met him another time, another time, a, a fourth, fifth, sixth, sixth time, and slowly realized, well, that feels good actually, and that became my new reality to be treated well. But it did take some inspired action to push through the uncomfort of the new reality, and growing sometimes does feel painful. And um, so don't confuse it with intuition that tells you to not um, go further. Okay, thank you for watching and um, I see you soon.